Yesterday on World AIDS Day, the government pledged more than £23 million to end HIV infections in England by 2030. Now, in the UK, 100,000 people are living with HIV and around a third of those are women. And did you know there's been a 20% increase in women over the age of 65 being diagnosed? Now, that's been put down to what they're calling silver splitters, which are women hitting the dating scene later on in life and thinking they no longer need to use contraception. Did that figure surprise you, Nadia? Well, it did surprise me when we were talking about it this morning, but then when I was thinking about it and the whole silver splitters, which I'd never heard of before until this morning, I love that. Um, I suppose there's a kind of sexual revolution now. Because there's online dating, an older woman who splits up from her husband can have as much sex as she likes. You know, it's not like having a chance meeting and hopefully meeting someone in a wine bar. The whole world is open. So yeah. I suppose think, when you think of it like that... Do you think it's that generation? Because, in a way, we were always brought up that, that contraception was about not getting pregnant, yeah. whereas the younger yeah. generation, it's also yeah. about not getting yeah, sexually right. transmitted yeah. diseases. And so there is a lot of mm. women over a certain age who don't think that way. Yeah. I'm not, I think they're not, like that. And they're not marketed to. If you, you know, yeah. if you ever see adverts about sexual health or about contraception, you know, it's always a younger person that's on there. It's as though, you know, as tradition states, is that you're not meant to be having sex well, ain't that when you're just older. The way. It's really yeah. interesting now as it used to be. I mean, when AIDS were really at their worst and and it was a shocking time with, with so many deaths. Yeah. I mean, the progress that's been made and the medication that's available now, you know, is absolutely fantastic. But you never, ever see a government ad now no. about safe sex or anything. It's, it's almost like, well, we can treat AIDS with med medication now, so we'll not really give the warning. But I personally think... I mean, I've talked to a number of young people in America when I was there. And in America, I mean, even when two young people are going out, they're looking for documentation that says... Really? ..they're age-free or... Uh, so that you can have safe sex. Or just, or just and generally sexually... That you're sexually, that you're sexually yes. clean, mm -hmm. I, I guess, and, you know... That you but I think a lot of young people in this or... country are aware of that as well, you know. But do you think with our, with our generation that we do enough of going to get regularly tested? I mean, I mean, oh, you know, never. we're all in relationships. Yeah. Would you ever think of doing no. it in relationships? No never. way. And, it, and, in fact, it would be thoroughly odd. I mean, if I suddenly saw a card and Mark had been off for a sexual health check, I'd, well, wouldn't we all would go, why, why have you had a sexual health check? What's, what, what have you done? Would be our first... Mm. You don't think of it as something routine, like no. you get your eyes or your bones or whatever no. else tested. And I yet mean, that seems to be what they're saying we should do. You know, back in, in, in the 80s, when we were all kind of young Terrified. and dating and whatever, yeah. and do you remember the, the, the tombstone advert yeah. to do with? Because, of course, it, it was largely a death sentence then yeah. and it terrified us all. But now it isn't a death sentence and apparently if you get it early enough then your life expectancy is pretty much the same as anybody else, which is phenomenal in far how, we've, how far we've come. But as you say, I think that then breeds a little bit of complacency. Mm. Mm. But because... I also think Nadia, Nadia actually hit the nail on the head, I think, because, you know, if, if a woman has been divorced and maybe there's a bit of bitterness there and, and maybe she's been married out for quite a long time or maybe she's been very lonely, I think that now that online dating is so accessible, I think that there is a certain sexual freedom that possibly yeah. comes with that. Yeah. Which is great. Um, and, yeah. and I think that's why your figures now over 65 are That's relevant. great, but wear a condom. Yeah, and be, and, be, and be safe. But you're right, a lot of when we were younger, it was about not getting pregnant as opposed to not just thinking about looking after your own sexual health. Well, look, um, if you're on the fence about getting checked regularly for HIV, we're going to show you just how easy it is. And Taku has joined us uh, Hi, on Taku. set. Hi, Taku. <laughs> well, hello, hello. Uh, Taku's from the Terence Higgins Trust and is going to talk me through how to do it myself. So I've got all the stuff here. And well, just you can warn... just do it. Just yeah, like... yeah, we've got the stuff here. Because the thing is, I suppose, like anything, you could... It could be lying dormant, couldn't yeah. it? And you wouldn't know. Yeah, and that is it is possible for it for it to lie dormant. And um, I have got hand sanitizer. I'm going to uh, wash my hands off here just to make sure that they are clean. So and we were saying you, earlier yeah. we have become used to, a bit more used to self testing now yeah. because yeah. of lateral flows. Yeah. And... I'm imagining now I'm 65. I'm, gonna, yeah. I'm out there in the world. I'm having a cocktail, some almonds, some and, olives, and a health care. Oh look, I need my test. Need to do the test, Nadia. <laughs> <laughs> right, oh, sorry, so... I was supposed to be talking while you did <laughs> the it. Test, the test. This comes uh, in a box like this. So, Taku, this is what the Terence Higgins Trust... You guys provide these tests, don't you? And yeah. it can be paid for by those who can afford to, but yeah. you also... But 
people, you encourage people to do that. So if you can't afford it, you can get one for free. Yeah. So uh, uh, people have many ways that they can get tested. So that is just one way of getting tested. So uh, the most common way that people yeah. can get tested, they can go to a clinic, near, uh, a sexual health clinic near them or they can order a test online. Yeah. So um, we have got two types of tests that people can order online. There's one where they will get um, to send yeah. it back with a sample and then they'll get a result from that. Or they can do this what test I'm that doing, we're going to so do. In yeah. this box here, we have a packet here, we've got some liquid and I've got a plaster also comes in this box. <laughs> I'm going to open up this now. I've just got the, um, the instructions. That's what's on this sheet here. Yeah. So I'm going to twist. I've got to twist this, don't yeah, I? Yeah. So you just have to take off the uh, the green yeah. thing. So Can just to explain, maybe to off? yeah, to explain to the viewers yeah. what you've got there is just a finger prick uh, test. So like we're going to prick your finger to get yeah. a little bit of blood onto the test, and then after that we'll put a bit of liquid on it, and then and you, then we'll. Okay. And then we wait. So for okay. people who are used to doing lateral flow tests, it's like it's quite similar. Like Very when you look similar. at how, yeah. how it's written down, so you just so have to wait. What I'm yeah. doing now is I'm warming up my hands. Warm your I hands need up. to get the blood yep. sort of flowing, and I'm going to yep. do it on this finger. So I'm just yep. going to rub it here. So side, you side here. Ooh, Let me see yep. if I can show you here. Show yep. me. I'm just going <laughs> to do it there. That's it. Right. It's Bits prick there. Uh, <laughs> did it hurt? <laughs> no, do you know what? It just felt like a pinprick. <laughs> and then what I'm going to do, ladies, is I do then have to. And then you have to get a, a bit of here. the blood onto the test kit. Yeah. And then once it's collected onto the test kit, um, you put there it down, go. put the liquid on it. Uh, the testing liquid on it. It's so cold in here that my blood's really not flowing as quickly as it should do. <laughs> <laughs> honest, isn't it? So yeah. yeah, we just put them all all in here. So it yeah. goes in here, so I'm going to make sure that this vial here yeah. is full of my blood here. It's, it's, um, it's a, just a drop as well, just to, just to let everyone know. Just, just a drop. Like a dive. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Right, right, I'm going to stop myself bleeding there. Now, all yep. I do here is I put it down. Yep. I flop it down like that, if you guys yep. can see. I flop it down, so it looks just like a lateral flow test that kit there. And then you put right. four drops of that liquid on it. And then I'm going to put four drops in here. One, two, three, four. And then we wait, don't we? And then we wait. And, and so you can uh, maybe then make a cup of tea and then yeah. just wait mm -hmm. and then you'll get well, the results. Well, I would love to be today. I was going to go and have a cup of tea for you, but I've got a show to do. So we're going to put this to the side and in yeah. 15 minutes' time, we'll, uh, I'll have the result, won't I? Brilliant. Brilliant. Well, Taki, yeah. thank you so much for talking thank to you. Well, thank you. Thank you very much. Well. It was really right. easy, wasn't yeah. it? Let's look at the result of the HIV test I took earlier. We just kind of wanted to give you an idea of just how easy it is to test yourself and just how important it is to do sexual checks often, especially when you are dating. So 15 minutes are up and I've got the result here. Uh, it's not dissimilar to a uh, lateral flow test, really. So see, I've got the line there which says C, and so that means that it, it, it is negative. So it's not that, as you, you know... Well, what's the, what did the test used to be, then? Was it quite a laborious...? Well, like like anything. Like, if, if COVID had happened 20 years were... ago, the ability yeah. to be able to test ourselves, we wouldn't have been yeah. able to do that. It's just technology, isn't it? And so you can order those online to get it sent to your house, um, and, you know, or you can go to your local sexual health clinic. But the importance is you've got to check yourself often.